Hey guys, welcome to uh, Fun Facts with Adlac. So, what I've learned since however many episodes ago we got this guy, I have just learned that this is a, le a roaming. Yeah, that explains the good stats. But yeah, um, we've changed up the team a bit. We've now got Wee Vault. We've got Delta, who will be our Ticklips. We have Buddy. We've got Ember. We've got Elefege, which is the traded Lumion that I said we'd add to our team. We've got our starter fern. And then we have Dracula. Dracula is not here to stay, unfortunately, though. Dracula will be leaving at some point. It's just I don't have a Lumion to take Dracula off the team with. But I do need name suggestions for the team. So let me know if you have any. But we're just going to jump straight into things this episode. So, I think we're going over here. Wait, is the team healed? To the most part, yeah. What do you look like following me? Oh, that looks weird. Um, I'm also realizing that if we're going to go into battles, having my number one, like my two strongest there is not the best idea. Let's have Delta up front. The team may switch around a bit because I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's like, you know, throwing together last minute. We'll maybe catch some new Lumions to put on it. I just kind of got what we had. Pollard Campos. Took you long enough. Yeah, you made it. I called ahead and someone will be waiting for us to give a tour. I want to see how they make the cute little Lumions. They aren't cute, let's see. Most of them are made specifically to pick up trash or filter the air. I know that, but I still think they're cute. Alright, well, if we're all here, let's go on then. Hey, wait a minute, I know you. It's Jake! Long time no see. It's Adlac, right? We met in Galvan Night Cave. I'm sorry about that whole ordeal. I wasn't quite feeling myself. I hope you were able to put the, that behind us and start over again. Hey, a hey, Adlac, who's your friend? Oh, that's right, I never introduced myself. My name is Jake, and uh, your names? My name is Mabel, and these are my friends, Lucy and Lucas. Oh, uh, Mabel, are you feeling alright? So you know this loser too, huh? What's a guy like you doing hanging out with someone like Adlac? Actually, we haven't exactly hung out. We've only really met once when we battled, as much as I hate to admit. I lost the battle. We went our separate ways after that. Oh, you're a trainer too. My friends and I are all trainers. But Mabel, you don't have any... Ahem. So what brings you out here today, look, Jake? Well, I came to check out Policorp headquarters. Word has it they are leagues ahead of the rest of the world in technology technological advancements. I was hoping they would be able to help me with a certain predicament. No way, we were just about to take a tour of Bullet Corp. Headquarters, why don't you come along with us? Wait, did Mabel seriously just invite a stranger on her own? A tour? Yeah, that would work perfectly. That will allow me to check the place out thoroughly. Oh, Jake, you're so funny. We're going to make great friends, I can tell. Oh, haha, okay. Well, let's not just stand around out here. Let's go inside and get our tour started. Yay, finally. Cute Lumines, here we come. Tess! No! Welcome to Pollock Corp. How may I help you? Um, I called a little while ago about her. Is this the right place for those? It sure is. Are you all together? Yes, all five of us. Alright, well I'll actually be your tour guide today. Before we get started, let me quickly explain what we'll be doing today. Our tour will take you through several of our important workspaces here in Pollock Corp as I explain the purpose of each one. Do any of you have any questions before we get started? Do we get to play with a cute little... Do we get to play with the cute little Lumians you guys make here? You will not be allowed to interact with Lumians here in the facility. If you would like to interact with our Lumians, you are welcome to do so in the city or the wild. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, if there are no more questions, let's get started. Please follow me. Our first stop, the Think Tank. In this room, some of our brightest come, some of our brightest come up with the ideas that lead us into the future. It was in this very room that the concept of creating artificial Lumians to help take care of the city was first developed. Our other invent inventions such as cyber attachments and accessories are developed here as well. We even have special custom glass separating us from the employees. The glass scatters a light reflecting from the whiteboard marker ink, making it impossible for us to see what they have written. This way we can give tour tours without revealing any secrets in development. Oh, that's futuristic, alright. Oh, I want to see leaks of the new Lumions they're working on. That's pretty neat, right Jake? Secret technology? I wonder what other sorts, sorts of things you work out on in secret. I was just thinking, same thing Jake. Oh, brother. Alright, are there any other questions? Okay, let's continue. Follow me, everyone. My wings get in the way. I should probably take them off. 
This room is one of many here in our facility where we manufacture our, pro our products. This line in particular is creating parts that will be used to create some of our artificial lumens. Once assembled, the lifeless machines will be taken to another room where they are brought to life using the energy rich soul crystals which are found all throughout Goria. Our magnificent leader Dr. Vanta was the one who discovered that these crystals could be used to bring his inventions to life. As a child, Dr. Vanta was taught that the crystals brought all about all life on our planet, which is what sparked his inspiration. So that means the crystal I came across in Galavan Cave is called a soul crystal. That's incredible. I wonder what else they are capable of. We have a division here in Polycorp that studies the soul crystals' unique properties and behaviours. They believe that these crystals could even potentially awaken powers within Lumians that we have never imagined. Now that sounds very interesting. Are we going to visit that div division on our tour by chance? No, unfortunately. That area is restricted to Polycorp personnel, identified by a badge like the one I wear on my shirt. Oh, I see. Yeah, that'd be so cool to see. Wasn't there a place in Sylvan City that did stuff with the soul crystals? Yeah, I remember something about soul crystals when we were there. You must be thinking of the power plant that converts the soul crystals into elect electrical surges, or whatever that said. Our leader, Dr. Vanta, believes that crushing soul crystals to collect electrical energy is a huge waste of their true potential. Are there any other questions? Okay, follow me to the last stop of the tour. Oh boy, they always save the best for last. I can't wait. Is that found a smell? I sure, it sure is. Our last stop is the cafeteria. Is that food I smell? It must have said. We provide lunch for everyone free of charge. The cafeteria. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. I never turned down free food. I haven't eaten yet today, so this is perfect. Oh, I hope they have pizza. Lucas, you only think about food and lumians. What? That's not true. You'll have one hour before employees have their break and need to use the cafeteria. I'll come back for you when it's time. Enjoy yourselves. Cool. Let's go see what they've got. God damn. So let me get this straight. You're traveling around on your own, looking for a bunch of spooky rocks that contain mysterious powers. And you think there's one here in Sapphire City? So is this what's been causing all those Lumians to go rogue? From what Adlak said, the broken pieces of the stone tablet are definitely connected to corrupt Lumians. That's so scary. Who's behind all of this? In my experience, these sort of things happen as a result of someone meddling with powers that should have been left alone. Sounds like you've been through a lot, huh, Jake? Yeah, Jake, what's your story? It's kind of complicated. I'd rather not talk about it right now. Leave Jake alone, Lucas. It's his business. Sorry, I wasn't trying to pry. It's okay. Let's just say that I'm sort of stuck and I'm looking for a way out of a tough situation. Oh, so mysterious. I like that. Mabel, you've been attacking... You, you've been acting kind of funny today. Are you feeling okay? Anyway, so I'd like... You said you've found two of those weird stones. If there are eight in total, you still have a long way to go, right? It sounds like coming into direct contact with them makes people and Lumians powerful and corrupt. If they aren't collected quickly, everyone could be in danger. That is true. I can't believe that you're collecting those tablets all by yourself. Your bravery is inspiring. I had a friend who was once faced with similar choices. You remind me a lot of them. It's tough being the hero all alone. That's why I've decided I want to help you. I've been running into dead ends in my personal endeavours. feels pretty hopeless, but after hearing your story, I'd like. I always feel like I'm meant to be here. Please allow me to help you in any way I can. Wait, really? Well then, I want to help too. If what you're saying is true, it's too dangerous to do it all by yourself. Yeah, way too dangerous. Cut me in too. Lucas can't do anything without my help. Hey, that's not true. Yeah, whatever. What about you, Mabel? What do you think? I, I, I can't. Oh yeah, sorry, Mabel. Wait, what's wrong? Well, Mabel isn't... My mom won't let me have my own Lumians. When I was a kid, well, there was an accident. My mother wouldn't let me train Lumians after that. I failed my mother and now she thinks of me as useless. She recently sent me away to learn about Lumians from a school in Cheshire Town. I guess she didn't think it was worth her time to try to teach me herself. My best friends in the whole world, Lucas and Lucy, came with me because they didn't want me to have to go alone, but that school only reminded me of my failure, so we left. Now we're just wandering about. I'm just a failure, and I'm too afraid of training with Lumians. Mabel, I'm sorry, that sounds awful. There was a time when I also thought of myself as a failure. Heck, I used to be a no-good coward. I believed I was weak, and because of it, I became weak. Then something happened to someone I cared about. I had to make a choice. I could either run away and remain weak, or let go of the past and take control of my future. I made my decision, casting all fear and doubt aside. In the end, I was able to save them. Or at least, I think I did. That part is still a mystery, but I have faith it turned out, well, in the end. Anyway, my point is, you decide your future. Whether you can or can't do something is up to you. Letting your past steer your future with fear will only result in more regret for your decisions. So you don't even know what happened in the end? Like I said, that part is complicated. That's not a takeaway. I think you're right, Jake. I've not been able to enjoy anything in life because I've labelled myself as a failure for so long. I can't live like that anymore. 
Starting today, I'm not going to let what my mother thinks hold me back anymore. Ad luck, count me in. If there's anything Lucy A. Lucas or I can do to help, we'll do it. That's the spirit, Mabel. Mabel, I haven't seen you this determined in a long time. This has got me so excited now. Well, there you have it, Ad luck. Anything you need, we'll help get it done. This is awesome. We'll be like a superhero team for the mo from the movies. Except we don't all have matching uniforms. Hey, since we're like a team now, should we add each other on our Lumi watches so we can all call each other? When something happens? Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Let's do that really quickly. Alright, I think that's everyone. Alright everyone, it's time. If you'll just stack your trays by the trash and follow me, I will get you all back to the lobby. Wow, it's been an hour already? That went by so quickly. Let's talk more outside. Are we done? Please tell me we're done. Oh, thank God. Thank you all for taking interest in Polar Corp. I hope the tour was educational and fun. Let your friends and family know about your experiences here. Thanks, miss. Well, guys, how about we get back out there and start looking for cl clues about the next stone thing? We could try asking around at the, at the battle theatre. After all, people gather there from all around. It would be a good place to gather information. And weren't you going to challenge the battle theatre, ad luck? Oh, yeah, that's right. We should go back there now. Excuse me? Did I hear that somebody was going to take on the battle theatre challenge? Oh, yeah. Adelak was planning on challenging the battle theatre. Is that so? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Faust. If you challenge the battle theatre, then there's a chance you and I will get to battle each other. Wait, you're, you're Sephiroth City's battle st star. I watched a special on TV about you. You survived an accident and Bullet Corp saved your life and gave you all kinds of cyber enhancements. That's right. I just finished getting my cyber gear updated. Bullet Corp is kind enough to calibrate and tune my gear every week, making sure I'm always... Who just texted me? Nitrate? Right, making sure I'm always tip top shape for my battle performances. And that th and thanks to FOSS we're able to spread awareness over life changing technology. Oh Doctor Vanta, I wasn't expecting to see you come in today. I would have had a coffee prepared for you if I knew. Oh, it's not a problem, my dear. By the way, where's your identification card? They were supposed to be kept in your coat. Oh, I must have misplaced it earlier when I was giving a tour. I'll tra tra retrace my steps to find it. Very well, hurry back when you find it. We have people waiting for their cyber upgrades. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, Faust. Where were we? I was just telling these young people about my cyber gear. Oh yes, Faust has got state-of-the-art gear. It allows her to quickly act in battle. You could, be, you could bet she's a fierce opponent. All of our technology is developed to give people their lives back as well as to enhance their average person's life. Our mission here at Polo Corp is to bring humanity closer to a utopia society. I really do owe Pol Polo Corp and Dr. Vanta all that I have. After my accident, I thought my life was over. I heard about Polo Corp and their cybertech, and my hope of a normal life was re reignite. Re I don't even know. We were happy to help. After we gave Foster new limbs, she quickly became famous. Because of her story, the word got out about what we do here. We all lo owe a lot of our growth to her, so I'd say we're even. Since then, we've also developed our very own Lumians that are a unique combination, digital and organic. They were each created to play a positive role in their rep res resp respective habitats. That's right. Many of the people in this town, including me, have some of these Lumians as companions. If you happen to find any of these Lumians in the wild, feel free to capture a few. After all, the more people have them, the more people we will hear about us. It's basically free advertisements. That's funny, Dr. Vanda. Anyway, thank you again for the tune up this week. I've been away from the battle theatre for too long, so I need to get back. Oh, don't let me keep you any longer. I've got to go back to work, too. I've been working on something very exciting that I must get back to. See you next week, Faust. Goodbye, Dr. Vanda. It's not, fair. it's not every day that you run into the CEO of Blue Corp, right? In the lobby. Anyways, I must be going. I'll have to see you at the battle theatre later. Goodbye for now. I must part ways for a little time too. I'm sorry, I won't be able to join you at the battle theatre, I'd like. Oh, do you really have to go out already? There's something I need to look into for now. I will call you on your Lumi watch when I'm ready to meet back up. See you in a bit. Bye, Jake. Oh, brother. Well, I'd like. You should get ready to go to take the battle theatre challenge. We'll head over there now so we have enough time to get seats before you go in. We'll ask around to see if we can find any information on your missing stone piece too. Yeah, let's all meet back up when we're done. Good luck, I'd like. Don't you dare lose or I'm going to be really mad. And she's back to normal now. I'm only kidding. Let's go, guys. Right. I am going to go now. I'm going to end this episode because that was a lot of talking and I'm tired. It's also half ten at night. So, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to go and I'm going to grind this team up to level 25, maybe. Maybe 30. But yeah. Next episode, we're going to be a lot stronger. And we're going to take on the battle theatre. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.